maybe the lower one? One little bit, exactly. There. A successful business sparks from an idea, a passion. In four episodes, we'll meet entrepreneurs and inventors to find out what they've learned during the process of starting their own ventures. Welcome to Peeps. This week we're visiting Middas Frid, a company that creates delicious dinner combinations that's delivered right to your door. This is our test kitchen. This is the heart of our business. Today we're cooking um, halloumi cheese sprinkled with um, organic uh, pumpkin seeds. And it'll be served with an aioli, organic eggs of course with that. There's a whole oven tray here with uh, sweet potato, red onion, potatoes and mushrooms. When we put together our dishes we think a lot about the color too since these contain important nutrients. So we have the yellow from the pepper, the red from the onion, the green from the seeds because uh, it does make a difference. Tell me about your business idea. We offer home delivery of ready planned grocery bags with um, everything you need to make, say, five dinners for four people. All the ingredients and also the recipes to match. But Kiki, I'm no chef. Would I be able to do this myself at home? We don't sell food. We sell a life quality enhancing service. Well, we create our recipes so even the very inexperienced chef can make them. So it did Our first three years, uh, we rocketed. I mean, we grew so quickly that we, could, we, we didn't even have time to sell. And that's a very positive problem, I think, for a, an entrepreneur. But um, then after like three years, we hit very, very rough competition. It was so unexpected and it's so, um, so, so powerful. Okay, we're getting ready to fry these uh, beautiful vegetable patties. They're going in the pan. One of our recipes that will um, be delivered in the vegetarian bag. I have realized, I think maybe the hard way, that you could just never, you can never lean back and feel like now we have a good idea that's up and running by itself. So we have to continuously improve our product um, so we can offer the best possible service compared to our competitors. Hi, my name is Jesse. I made this bicycle wine rack. This isn't a bicycle, but this is the wine rack. It's this leather strap that goes on a bicycle and holds a bottle of wine. All the people that worked at the liquor store were up against the window looking at it. I was pretty sure right then that it was uh, you know, going to work for people and there's getting a great response already. I'd never had such a good response from a product right away and that was just the prototype. What are the three elements of success according to you? Well, the most important thing is to do is to sell all the time. Um, and then I think passion, doing what you really love doing and that you do well. Number three, just I guess plain old hard work every day. And this is your chefs? Yeah, these are the ones who cook the food, but we do have a rotating schedule that so many people that work here actually do test the food. So they're working at the back office and then they're cooking? Uh, not very often, but everyone has a chance to come down here and test cook. It's very important to network. Uh, the first year, for example, we had no money for marketing. So my husband and I, we collected as many email addresses to friends and former bosses, former colleagues, maybe their families and our own families and their friends and spread word by email about our new service. And um, all of a sudden we had, from, this, from the very, very beginning, we had like 150 customers, where we had counted on 60. Well, after cooking the food, uh, the food is, we spend time uh, decorating the food, we photograph the food, and then soon eight people are gonna come uh, to try the food. To prioritize my time is a challenge, has always been. But it was easier from the beginning because I did everything myself. It was only me. And then it was me and my husband. And then it was me and these two other employees. Is there ever a situation where they don't like the food? Oh, yes, absolutely. So one of the dishes today is one of those that we had to recook. Okay, so here we have the mm -hmm. halloumi cheese mm -hmm. uh, with the roasted. Uh, now, though, when I have 28 people here, I can basically do what I want, what I think is fun. And that creates so much opportunity. That makes it even trickier. I love it. It's super delicious. Next time we'll be visiting Alexander Stutterheim that made a splash in the fashion world with a new take on the old raincoat. On a wall, on a, on a nail, it was hanging. Mm -hmm.